Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praise and honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rochak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Shabbat Chanak. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rochak Wadash. This is a uh, walk and talk lesson. Uh, hopefully, you know, straight to the point, relatively short. We'll just see how the spirit moves. This kind of something I've been on my spirit, just thinking about, um, you know, the, the the last days that we're in, and how it would be synonymous with the days of Noah and the days of Lot. And when you go into both of those stories, okay, the latter end of those stories, or you could say it was it was two parts. It was destruction. And then there was salvation, okay? Lot Lot and Noah represented the elect of their time, all right? And the rest of the people, they were destroyed. In the case of Lot, you had uh, you had those five cities that were that were given given to uh, given to sin, especially um, you know that uh that that nasty stuff. What basically the month that we're in, June what they celebrate here in America and their, you know, Pride Month, they, it was it was five cities that were totally given unto that, okay? And then in the times of uh, Noah, you pretty much had the same thing. All right, the whole, I mean, you got to think about it. The whole earth had to be super wicked. I mean, the whole earth had to be given completely to idolatry, okay, um, you know, uh, uh, men with men, women with women, murder, okay, uh, sacrifices, they were doing children's sacrifices like they're doing now, you know, uh, men stealing, you had trafficking, human trafficking, I mean, you had all, you had all manner of, uh, you had adultery, you know, uh, uh, all, all the sins that the scriptures speak about, and the Lord, he, he took, he took everybody out, okay, so where, where are we at now? It will be synonymous. Everybody is given over to idolatry. Everybody's given over to uh, Satan worship. Everybody is given over to uh, pride. Okay, murder. They're complicit with murder. Okay, let me let me bring this out. And then you know what? I want to give me a sec. I want to find this scripture too. Let me go to Luke first. We'll go Luke 17. And then I want to find. Let me let me read this first and I want to find something else. Luke 17, if I could, Luke 17 and. And 26, it says, and and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. Right. And we are in the days of the son of man. OK. Yeah. How was returning? OK. Not not Jesus Christ. Nobody's talking about Jesus Christ returning. None, none of these Christians are actually speaking to and warning the world of who they call Jesus Christ returning. And furthermore, give me a second. Furthermore, it will be like the days of Noah. None, none of these none of these so-called Christians are speaking to the evils that are going on, uh, especially here in America. Neither do they consider America to be spiritual Sodom or Babylon. OK, they don't know what they don't know what the hell is going on. OK. It says they did eat, they drink, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah enter into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all so this is this is and this is what i was just kind of thinking about this, this is where we're at okay the majority of let's just stay here in america because we america is the is the main event really the the, the other places of the earth most i ain't really you know he ain't really going to destroy like that but you are going to have you are going to have a lot of destruction amongst these heathens just like at that hodge 
You know, um, in Saudi Arabia, you had over 1,200 people die of heat, exhaustion, uh, worshiping uh, Allah. Would, wouldn't Allah come down and, you know, put a, you know, um, a shadow over him? Right? The scriptures speak about how the, uh, the Mosai uh, is going to be like a shadow unto the elect in a, in a weary place. He's going to make a man like a shadow. Isaiah 32, okay, uh, a rock in a, in a weary, in a, in a, you know, like a weary place, a hot place. That was a, a weary hot place, man. And you had multiple people, multiple people drop dead. So wouldn't you think that Allah will come and, and, and save and save the people? So that that just goes to show you that that's a that's a false god. But to hell with them other heathens. You know, the most High is not dealing with those heathens. The main show is here in America. Okay, because America is going to be the one that's going to be completely destroyed, wiped off the planet Earth because of the, the, the wickedness that it it pushes throughout the Earth. Okay, um, lost my train of thought. Let me just go back to the scripture. Let me read verse 27 again. They did eat, they drink, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So the the amount of rebellion and folly, like you get on the internet, you get on social media, the majority of the, the information or the majority of the videos that you see on social media is folly. It's, uh, it's entertainment. Whether it's some type of sporting event, whether it's some type of prank, whether it's some type, you know, or, or a woman just taking off her clothes, showing you her body, or any, any number of things, you know, filming dogs, very rarely is, is something educational okay and um inspirational on the right hand side okay really the only thing that's r really righteous on the right hand side is this word going out um uh, you know by you know by the pro by the true prophets that's the only thing that's the most high really is uh is uh, uh happy about Everything else, everything else, the Lord's looking down at like he, he's getting ready to take this place out. OK, so things are going to only going to get worse. The people are going to only going to be more confused. Your family, you, your family's not going to wake up. Your mom's not going to wake up. Your dad's not going to wake up. Your big uncle, he ain't waking up. OK, big mama, she, she ain't waking up. Your brothers and your sisters, they not waking up. Very rarely. OK, is, you know, maybe maybe you might have one other person in your family. But at this point, you should be worrying about yourself, because when you read about Noah, what happened? It was Noah, his three sons and their wives. Th these were the only ones that were saved. It was eight, eight individuals. So the Lord, he took out tens of uh, who knows how many people were on the earth, you know, uh, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions. Yet the Most High, he took them all out during that flood. And now we're coming into a, uh, a second flood, but it's going to be a flood of fire. OK, because we know the Most High is not going to uh, flood the earth. So we don't have to worry about that. But he didn't say nothing about him not bringing fire down from heaven, which is synonymous with the days of Lot. Let me read that because it goes into the next verse. Let me walk across the street. Okay, verse, verse 28, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot. See, we read about, we read about Lot. We, we should all know about the, the story of Lot and what was going on there. Just um, completely given over to the, their lust with, you know, men, men and men. So, you know, it was men, men with men, men with women, orgies, you know, all, just all type of manner of, you know, all type of manner of nastiness. Exactly, exactly what's going on today, man. Exactly what's going on today. So likewise, okay. Um, likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Right, and because before, before this thing is destroyed, right? You're going to have uh, the MOTB. 
So this going to be buying and selling, which, which, which shows you that the people are actually going to um, take the MOTB, which another thing with, um, you should you should have noticed is that when Esau came out with this whole with this whole 2020 thing and said that, you know, you're going to die if you don't take this medicine, which we were like, oh, we were calling bullshit. We knew that it was it was something deeper that he, you know, he was trying to fulfill. It was a wicked, it was a wicked, evil uh, plot. We, we, we saw right. The spirit allowed us to see right through that. But you had the majority of the earth were afraid. OK, because they, they, they're going to lose their job. They're going to lose, you know, the ability to go with their family. This is what they thought because Esau scared them. They're going to lose all these all these different uh, benefits. OK. And Esau threatened them and they went ahead and they did it. So the majority, the majority of the earth, they, they were deceived by Esau with that with that plot of taking that that uh, that that snake medicine. So the same thing when he comes in, right, when he comes in and he pushes an even heavier, uh, a even uh, a heavier deception. With this MOTB, major destruction is going to become uh, coming. It's going to be, it's definitely we're going to be in a time of famine because people that are eating during the whole scam, people were eating good, even though there were certain shortages on, you know, like chicken wings or whatever. For the most part, th there wasn't really shortages like that. Not, not in the States. Maybe a little here, maybe a little there, but for the most part, you can eat. This time, this time around, the Most High is going to increase the famine, especially, especially amongst you, amongst you Black, Hispanic, Native Americans. All right, the uh, the, the the most disadvantaged in society. You're going to be the first one that's going to feel it. You're going to you're going to be the first one that's going to feel the inflation. Okay, you're going to be the first ones that's going to feel, you know, uh, 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 the the famine. Okay. And you're, you're going to be the target of Esau Edom. He's going to come down upon you. And a lot of you Israelites that are so-called practice Israelites, you're going to, you know, pretty much fail the test. OK, so that's going to be that's going to be the, the, the testing of what a great testing, the hour of temptation. OK, which the hour of temptation is speaking about an actual um, period, a period of time in which you're going to be heavily tested into giving in to 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 Esau's agenda his plan his plot which is all he wants you to do is going to be very simple all he wants you to do again is just come come to a chipping station and get implanted with a device the size of a grain of rice you don't even have to do the brain chip you don't have to go with a neural link or a synchron or any of these number of uh the any of these number of you know companies that put brain chips you don't have to do that all you have to do is put out your hand and it's not it does it and it, it barely hurts right and it's a grain of rice this is what he wants so that's all you're gonna have to do and you're gonna be fearful for your life and he'll leave you alone but see you you Israelites gonna be deceived in that so dirt just like the time of uh of lot they were eating they were drinking which also they was just they was freaks which these people are freaks. There's no, there's no doubt about that. That America is filled with nothing but freaks. Okay, and and these other nations. Okay, give me a second. Bear with me. These other nations, they don't want to have nothing to do with the freaky. Which they're 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 freaky too. Don't get it twisted, but they don't want to have nothing to do with the super, super freakiness of Babylon the Great. OK, so just as in time and now they were eating, they were drinking, they were being freaky. All right. They were given to folly. All right, they were buying and they were selling. OK, let's read. Right. They, they it said they sold, they planted, they built it. OK, but the same day, it's the same day, OK, that lot went out of Sodom. It rained fire and brimstone 
from heaven and destroy them all. OK, even even thus shall it be in the day when the son of man is revealed. See. It's going to be this It's literally going. It's literally the same thing we're we're actually experiencing. OK. We're, we're actually experiencing what uh, Lot experienced. We're actually experiencing what Noah experienced. OK. And this this is how, uh, uh, you know, this is how the destruction is going to come in. It's going to be like, you know, even though there's going to be chaos, even though, you know, it's going to be a lot of chaos, but it's also going to be a lot of normality as well. A lot of order, uh, Esau's order, which is still chaos. I'm a, uh, I was going to get another scripture, but I'm going to close it there. It was just like a little short little lesson something I was thinking about. Until next time, shalom to the elect.